Hey guys, what is going on? Today I wanted to come at you with a little tip for Illustrator for your Merch by Amazon designs. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of these over the next couple of months. Every time I'm learning something new, I figured I would share it with you because um, I know it'll be useful and uh, you know I'll add it to my class too. So if if you guys are enrolled in my Udemy course, uh, there's always links to that below. But I will be adding these to the course if you're already in there as the more advanced stuff comes. So you'll you'll get it, you'll get it in both places. But uh, the more basic stuff is over there. And then um, as I'm learning more and more and using new things that I don't use as often, I'll I'll try to do a t uh, tutorial on uh, YouTube here so you guys can see I don't know some different ways you can kind of play around with fonts. They're not always going to work in every situation, but let's get right into this. Don't want to waste your time here. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to. This is going to be a quick tutorial on using cutouts, um, which sometimes you'll see on a shirt. And um, for an example, I'm going to use today. I'm going to use an oval. So we're going to go into here. This is the shape, the shape tool. If you click and hold on it, it's going to give you all these shapes you can do. Actually, we'll do a star. So um, you you select the tool. We just select the the star tool. It'll let you do this. So uh, you got the star here, we'll, we'll level it out. Um, and then let's actually do like, we'll, we'll call it like a Hollywood. Um, we'll do like a Hollywood star out of this, I guess. And uh, all right, let's shape this up good here. I'm actually gonna lock that back frame. Oops, sorry, let's move my graphics card. All right, so now we have this up here. And we're going to turn the star gold. And all right, so what we're going to do is place text on top of this. So we're going to go and then say, well, let's come up with a star's name. We'll do Denzel. Mr. Washington. I like him. He's a good actor. Okay, so we're going to use Mr. Denzel Washington. And we're going to make sure the font fits in there, right? And then maybe we'll even put a different kind of font on it. Let's see what that does. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Okay, so now the purpose of this would be. Um, I'm actually going to change this so you guys can see better when we get it. Uh, we'll do like a, this is like a dark, uh, yeah, I guess I don't really have a navy blue car in here, but that's, that's close enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is cut this out. So say we were to put this on a t-shirt, um, what we'd want was the back color to, to show through. Um, so all you have to do, the first thing is you have to set up your board how you want it. So like, that's how you'd want it to be cut out. So you, you set that up first and then. You're going to have to go up here into view, uh, sorry, uh, window, and then you're going to have to make sure you're using the Pathfinder tool. So this is a new, new toolbar you can add. So just click on Pathfinder. It's going to pull this up here, and you can let it swing around, or you can go over here. I go over here, and I dock it, and it's going to add new stuff over here. Uh, but this is what you're going to use, Pathfinder. And then what you're going to do is select all the elements. So your bottom element and then your text, whatever that is. And, and then when you're over it here, you're gonna see it says alt click to create a compound shape and subtract from the shape area. So what you're gonna do is make sure all these are selected one more time. And then you're gonna come over to minus front and then you're gonna hit alt and then click it. And then if you see over here, you can see where it's null. It, it just cut that, uh, it cut it right out. So if we click off and then we make the background go away, you now have a cutout. So that's it for today. Uh, just a quick thing. Um, you can put this into many other ways. You can do it on a square, a shape, a picture. Um, so you had an American flag and you wanted to put letters in the flag. Um, this would be the way you do it. Yeah. You have to be creative. There's tons of things you could do with this. But I, I, I knew that if you're using Illustrator, this would be kind of, I'm thinking this would be a cool little tutorial for you guys. If you like it, smash the like button and subscribe for more, more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.
I got broads in the land. She took the V in the fan. Credit cards and scams. Hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, fam. Way and see, look like a pan. Go on, I back up my tan. Honey killers on their hands. Legacies, fam. Way and see, fam. Packers, one. Danny, Sell and Bob. 